Good morning class. So today we are going to start with type 3 where we are proving theorems using similarity. Okay, and in that we have done theorem 1. Now we are going to do theorem number 2. So it starts, this theorem starts with the idea that in a right angled triangle. So the, the theorem itself tells you we have a right angled triangle. Okay, so what we are doing is we are going to first draw our right angled triangle. Since the theorem tells us there is a right angled triangle. Okay, and it is right angled here. Let's say it is right angled at A. Let's name this. So this is given to you in the information. This is what you write down in given also. That yes, we have a right angled triangle. Okay, and it also tells you if a perpendicular is drawn. Now please understand this is not construction. Because the theorem tells you that you are drawing a perpendicular is drawn from the angular point. Now what is the angular point? When you are talking about the angular point of what triangle? right angled triangle then we are talking about the right angle okay so that right angle is our angular point so you can see this is our angular point right from here we are drawing a perpendicular to the hypotenuse so this is our hypotenuse we know and we have drawn this let's mark this point as D and note what we have drawn we have drawn a perpendicular okay then the two triangles so formed means after doing this step you see there are two triangles that are being formed that is this triangle and this triangle okay originally we had only one triangle that was a b and c because of drawing this perpendicular new triangles have been formed so these two triangles okay are similar to the original triangle means this triangle small triangle is similar to the original one larger one this smaller one is also similar to the larger one okay original triangle and they are also similar to each other and these two are also similar to each other so we have three triangles more or less what we are going to prove is all the three triangles are similar to each other so first thing about this is to draw to write note the theorem to draw the diagram okay and let me know did you understand the explanation of the theorem yet okay we'll move on with the proof in the next video